So quickly, what we are, this is a 10 countries intergovernmental organization, uh, a specialized agency of the economic cooperation organization, which is secretariat in Tehran. Uh, but the ECO Science Foundation is based in Pakistan, which is Islamabad. Uh, the organization mainly promotes the science, technology, innovation, research, and in collaboration, leading to economic development. Uh, and to strengthen the research base, we also promote the science cooperation at uh, school level and harmonization of the STI policies in the region, uh, linking it with trade and uh, other aspects. So what we do is we fund the scientific research and uh, all the research is applied. The private sector has to be on board right from the start. So the R&D industry linkages are there and uh, we support all other activities which strengthen the research uh, base. Uh, so we provide the funding for conferences, travel grants, and a number of other activities. But our focus is also on the uh, promotion of inquiry science education in the region. Um, I'll talk a little bit about the sustainable development goals and some of the slides here and information I borrowed from my mentor, Professor uh, Lee Chong, who was here last year, but uh, not this year. He was also the uh, member of the UN Millennium uh, Project Task Force on STI of the UN Secretary General, the then UN Secretary General of Vietnam. The MDGs, as you all know, have been replaced by the Sustainable Development Goals. MDGs did have their own problems. They were rather unambitious. They were silent government sector and they were promoted by G7 and therefore did not be really address some of the issues uh, that are more important in the developing world. Uh, and they did not provide solutions for the urgent problems of the developing world, mainly the poverty eradication to the gain of wealth and employment. The SDGs are of course holistic, they are cross-cutting, cross-discipline and multi-stakeholder participation. Set up uh, 17 goals, backed up with 169 targets, they have been negotiated over a period of two years, although the uh, discussion began much earlier on and agreed to by almost every member state. UN in September 2015 and they proclaim to end the global poverty by 2030. Um, personally, I think poverty eradication may never happen, but reducing it and there are a number of other factors that uh, are critical that and those need to be addressed. So, the SDGs are an outcome of an inclusive consultation involving all UN member states and uh, the experts, the civil society and many people from uh, all parts of the world ever since the Rio Plus 20 in 2005. And in December 2014, the UN announced the completion, completion of multi-stakeholder consultation process uh, with the Secretary General Ban Ki-moon issuing a synthesis report on the post-2015 development agenda, which was uh, called the Road to Dignity by 2030 and in poverty transforming all lives and protecting the planet. And uh, this uh, link provides all that uh, well, what is new about uh, the 17 SDGs? First, I think, and more important, 
that they are uh, universal and they are interlinked, that they are uh, interconnected in the system and we cannot aim to achieve just one goal, we must achieve all. It is widely recognized that achieving these goals involves making very big fundamental changes, mainly how we live on our Each goal is very important in itself, but they are all connected and I think this is really uh, something beautiful about the SDGs, that they are all interlinked and therefore they all must be addressed simultaneously. ICT, it has been already talked about, plays quite a role and the integration of information and communication technologies is vital to the achievement of SDGs. Not only are ICTs a platform which integrate and accelerate all the pillars of uh, sustainable development, which are economic growth, social inclusion and environmental sustainability, but they also provide an innovative and effective means of implementation in today's interconnected world. Uh, Acknowledging the importance, important contribution of ICTs, they are directly referenced in four of the 17 SDGs and they are goal four, uh, education, goal five, the gender equality, and goal nine, and the goal 17, they are directly referenced in this. Uh, but they are also tremendous, they have tremendous potential to accelerate the progress towards achieving the SDGs. And ICTs have intrinsic value for long term sustainable development beyond the four direct targets in the post 2015 development framework. Uh, the goal 17 recognize ICTs as the essential to effective achievement of the sustainable development goals. So the spread of ICTs and global interconnectedness has great potential to accelerate human progress, to bridge the digital divide and to develop knowledge societies. And this statement comes from the paragraph 15 of the final outcome document on sustainable development produced by the UN, UN's uh, Open Working Group. Now, the ICT is a means of implementation of SDGs. I think their role in enhancing the international cooperation and coordination, promoting technology transfer, capacity building, and forging multi-stakeholder partnership, enabling and improving data monitoring accountability, uh, particularly for the youth, the young people. And if we look at the makeup of 17% of the world's population and 40% of the world's unemployed according to ILO, where youth population uh, in Pakistan is 21%, but if we add the school age kids in Pakistan, then it becomes a uh, 25% and so it happened that around 24 million children are out of school and they do influence all the development that happened. So equipping, equipping young people with the digital skills opens the door to a range of jobs and business opportunities. Dr. Atkinson also spoke about uh, the use of uh, these tools. The digital solutions have an important role to play in national strategies to overcome youth unemployment. And it is in this context that we think the ICTs can be linked for uh, achieving all the SDGs. 
this the demand for both basic and more advanced ICT skills cuts across all sectors from agriculture to construction, education, service industries and you find ICTs all over. So we can connect youth to these new opportunities by building awareness of the forces and innovations that are constantly shaping and reshaping pathways for employment and entrepreneurship. So with this background, we, the ECO Science Foundation has taken up this initiative of what we call the Hack Idea R. So application ideas and putting them to reality for empowering and mobilizing youth and accelerating the implementation of SDGs, the sustainable solution to the community at national agency level. This uh, program would solve the application idea to reality. Contest has been designed. The contest aims to promote development of software application on SDGs related to one or more of the goals for web, personal computer, mobile, uh, SMS or any other software platform. The application submitted in the contest should address at least one or more of the 17 SDGs, either for awareness creation or contributed progress towards meeting the SDGs. And this will be an open opportunity for university students of 10 ECO countries which are Afghanistan, Azerbaijan, Iran, Kazakhstan, Kyrgyzstan, Pakistan, Tajikistan, Turkey, Turkmenistan, and Uzbekistan to become part of an international team to solve social problems as well as uh, there are prizes for winners. Uh, the activity will help connecting and orienting the youth on education for sustainable development, making a roadmap for implementing it in the ECU region. Uh, and, uh, this flowchart explains a little bit more that at first stage the ideas are uh, invited and then they submit online. There is an evaluation committee which uh, selects. Uh, we have so far planned that we have 15 final uh, selected ones and during this process, uh, this stage, uh, th there will be some campaign of, uh, for awareness through various means about the goals and the second stage is that all the selected ones uh, will be asked to submit the uh, detailed proposals. Uh, there would be some supportive capacity building uh, workshops and they will then present their uh, solutions which will be evaluated and uh, the contest will finalize. Uh, I'm sure you know the SDG index and dashboard that has been developed by the SDSN and the index creates for the first time a measure of the SDG starting point for 2015 at the country level and um, 166 countries have already been taken into account. Some of the countries probably uh, they did not have the data so they are not there. But it will uh, help every country identify priorities for uh, early action, understand the key implementation challenges and identify the gaps that must be, must be filled in order to achieve the SDGs by 2030. The SDG index also allows each country to compare itself within the region with other counterparts at similar levels of overall economic development and with the entire world best and the worst performers. And this is the uh, link. I don't know how to open this. Can you, can you please? So I think with the SDGs, probably every 
country or every institution uh, needs to have a kind of a scoreboard as to uh, in what direction, what is the development and you can add on uh, because otherwise we may not be able to actually track all the data that uh, is taking place. Is it gone completely or coming out? Yes, yes. So you can you can uh, scroll a bit up. Bring it down, bring it down. Yeah, if you if you take the cursor to any of the countries on the map, maybe you go on to um, Korea somewhere here, you will it will just take to any country please. Take the cursor to any country, yeah. So here you have Pakistan, it tells you that uh, it ranks uh, 115 and it's in this region, the score is this much. Uh, similarly, if you bring to Korea somewhere here, for China or uh, Korea or uh, is rank 27. All I wanted to show was that this is a great uh, development. It gives you the basic data, it is being added on and then all the development that takes place uh, you add on and uh, the update will be uh, there. You can, you can uh, go back here. Yeah. So that's about it that I wanted to talk about, uh, our focus of course on critical thinking. Thank you very much. Thank you, Dr. Sonar.